Welcome back to the Mad Spideyverse. I'm Mad Spidey, and thank you once again for tuning into my channel. Today's episode will be another one of my artist series. Uh, episode 45, 46, 47, somewhere up there. I'm, I'm getting close to 50 anyway, so I've done plenty of episodes, still plenty more to come. So stay tuned if you love these videos. Uh, today, the artist is Marcio Takara. Um, Marcio as an artist has been around since the early 2000s. He's done a huge body of work, especially for the major two, Marvel and DC. Uh, he's also worked for some a lot of independents, things like that, like Boom Studios and so on and so forth. Uh, he's done anything from, you know, Batman and Flash and Green Lantern to Spider-Man, um, Wolverine. I think he did some work on the all-new Wolverine series with X-23. Um, he's, you know, and quite a lot of other sort of work. Um, I stumbled across Marcio's work probably uh, 2011, 2012. Um, and I became friends with him on Facebook, following him on IG. Um, and then I noticed he'd opened up a commission list. So I emailed Marcio and I said, look, you know, I'd love to get a piece. Uh, is the commission list still open? Um, and he's like, yep, still open. He goes, I'm still working through a few pieces and things like that. And I said, well, look, I need to save up some money to get one if that's okay. And he's like, yep, no worries. I'll hit you up when I'm almost at the end of the, the current list. I've added you in a slot and then we'll go from there. So this was back in mid 2013. Um, one of the better experiences um, that I've had, constant contact, like every time I'd email within, you know, a couple of minutes, a couple of hours, a day or so, he'd always reply. So super, super uh, good with the communication, which is what you want to see uh, when you're dealing with an artist, especially with obviously busy deadlines and conventions and all that sort of stuff. Still willing to go that extra mile to actually reply to you and say, look, I'm working on it, I'm getting there, I've mailed it, did you get it, so on and so forth. So that's what the commission game is. It's communication is one of the biggest gripes that every collector has, is that the communication is lacking, you don't know where you are, you've been waiting for days, weeks, months, years. I want to know, I've spent my hard-earned money, what's happening? So, and I've said that plenty of times before, and well, you know, Every collector will say the same thing, especially in the commission game. Um, it's just, a, it is a waiting game. So anyway, so I pretty much uh, decided to go, he gave me a few options. I always want to go the 11 by 17. I wanted to go, um, I said, oh, like, I, I didn't have enough money, obviously because of currency conversion and things like that. I think it was only maybe 50, 60, $70 between um, just a plain, just, just full size character on 11 by 17 and then full size with full background. Uh, I didn't really have that extra money at the time. I'd saved up enough for just the one with the simple background. He did give me a little bit extra though, mainly because of the weight. Um, but yeah, mid 2013, we'd organized it. I can't recall. I could probably look through my email history but at that point in time, I know 2013, I wasn't focusing on Spidey characters. Um, and I know he'd worked on this particular character in some books before. So I was like, I'll pick this character. I think we I think we mutually agreed that, okay, we'll, we'll pick this character. It's probably not somebody that you'd think I'd normally get a commission of. But I didn't have a commission of this character. I thought, why not? Um, so it had arrived by early 2014 so it was, it was roughly about a six month wait now a lot of you are going to be saying oh six months that's a long time in the commission game six months is nothing you've seen my episode of my longest wait you've seen my episode of my shortest wait um but my average if i averaged out all the time i'd waited for all these at home commissions i'd say at least between a year to two years would almost be the average that I've waited for most pieces. So in saying that, six months is nothing. 
So I was quite happy to wait that that time. We decided to settle on Black Widow. Um, yeah, not you think, not something that I would normally choose. But I think we mutually came across and went, okay, he's just worked on it. Let's go for a Black Widow. And this is the results. So as you can see, it's not really what you'd classify as having min background, max background. Um, but it is definitely an interesting take on the character. Super love this piece. Um, just sort of screams like the, you know, Black Widow the Assassin, obviously with all the, the guns and stuff like that. But here's an actual closer look at the piece. Obviously there's his uh, signature right there. But yeah, very, very cool indeed. Super, super happy to have that piece in my collection. Now, as I said, overall, six months, not really that big a wait when you're in the game. Communication was fantastic all throughout. Like, there was a few times that I'd message him, hadn't heard for a couple of weeks or maybe a month, and I'd be like, look, mate, what's going on? Haven't heard anything. And he's like, sorry, getting to it. Um, and then maybe, like, within, you know, a couple of days or a week, is like, okay, I'm going to... At least start, you know, the thumbnail on it or the, the concept part of it and things like that. So there was constant communication, always answered, always fairly timely and things like that. So overall, I'd say it's a fantastic um, experience with Marcio, definitely. So anyway, as always, do all the usual YouTube stuff. But first of all, Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, do all the usual YouTube stuff. Leave a comment if you wish to. And obviously, if you are watching this and you're thinking, look, you know, I've had a few, you know, I've had a few little scribbles, remarks, con sketches, things like that. Um, maybe I want to get into the commission game or get full into the original art game. If you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments. I'll always answer questions to the best of my knowledge. Obviously, as you know, as I'm still doing these uh, things because I have a lot of art to share, I am on hiatus, obviously, with this. Whether I go back to original art or not may or may not happen because of, obviously, the economy, the way things are going with, um, you know, all artists are putting their prices way up. Obviously, currency conversion is killing me, so I may or may not get to that point again, but you never know. Um, in my... If, if my boy Beckerman actually, uh, you know, sees this episode, he'd be like, you're getting back in because he's a big art collector as well. But yeah, as I was saying, if you want to leave a comment, ask a question or anything like that, I'm more than happy. Even if you just hit me in the DMs on IG, something like that, more than happy to answer any questions you have. So yeah, leave a comment if you want to. Hit the thumbs up on the way out because apparently it's supposed to help the algorithm, apparently. So please just hit that thumbs up on the way out. Uh, but most of all, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I would like to get to 600 sooner rather than later, but when it happens, it happens. But yeah, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and Spidey out.